What's the word, y'all? We are back with another video. Did not expect to have to make a video today, but breaking news happening as the one of the biggest Bulls fans on the platform. It's kind of my job to come here and talk about it. If you do not know what's going on, the Bulls have fi finally decided on their head coach, and it will be Billy Donovan. I was just chilling, doing laundry, and I get the notification from Woj and Shams, boom. And then I proceeded to get a million notifications after that at KLT for a Q. And what do you think? What do you think? This and that. Trying to let me know about the hiring. And what I want to say to y'all is thank you for having me be the first thing you think about when the Bulls do anything. But also, I have notice on Shams and Woj just like everybody else in NBA Twitter. So you don't have to notify me with something to go down because I'm on top of it too. So again, I didn't expect to record a video today, but here we are. It's my team, and it's it's an obligation of mine to talk about it. So initially, when I get the notification from, I forget which one it was. I mean, at the end of the day, it's NBA news. What is this? Sam Woj? It doesn't matter. Um, I get the notification, and immediately I'm like, yes, we did it. You know, because I'm still thinking about it this way. Any news for the Chicago Bulls from this point on is going to be good news because we already got rid of the egghead of a coach. We already got rid of the bad front office. So everything they, they're they going to do from here on out can can be looked at from a fan's aspect and be like, yes, at least that's like the initial response. But since it has been 30, 40 minutes and I've come down to earth a little bit and I can have a realistic expectation or a realistic um, opinion on the Billy Donovan signing. OK, um, it's cool. You know, it's cool. It's the first time since I think the year was 2003 that the Chicago Bulls have hired a head coach that wasn't a first time head coach. Think about the Bulls coaches throughout history since 2003. And that could be pretty cool as a fan to get a first time head coach. I mean, I wanted to see Wes Unsell Jr. be the coach. Like that was my number one guy. Then it was Kenny Atkinson. And then it was Billy Donovan. We ended up being, getting the third best guy in my eyes. But it is what it is. Right. Um, so any anytime there's like a first time coach, it's kind of like this mysterious little thing about it. Because you think about like Tom Thibodeau, right? He was a first time head coach when he came to the Bulls, and we were like, man, this is the guy that drew up the great defense for the Boston Celtics. He must be a good head coach. You know what? We weren't wrong. He wasn't the perfect coach, obviously, but he won a coach of the year. He helped the Bulls get to um, the best version of themselves that they've been at since Michael Jordan. So he wasn't he wasn't bad. Um, and then we ended up having the bad side of that, of like the Jim Boylan, right? We had just fired Fred Hoiberg, who was also a first-time head coach in the NBA. Forgot that. And then we got Jim Boylan. Like, this man has been a notorious uh, assistant coach for 20, 30 years. He's got a couple championship rings as, a, as an assistant, so he must be pretty solid, right? And then we got, like, the worst coach in the history of basketball. So... Arnie Shovas, Carney Shovas, decided to do something a little bit different. Let's go after somebody that we know has experience in pretty decent. I've been seeing a lot of Bulls fans on Twitter bring up, like, Billy Donovan's overall record as the head coach. And I think that's that's not a very good way to determine if a coach is good or not. I mean, you think about Billy Donovan came into the league in 2015 as the head coach of the OKC Thunder. He had KD and Russell Westbrook. Hell, I could have been the coach of that team and had a very good record. You know what I'm saying? And then he's has notoriously, other than this year, the last year, would um whoa, whoa, even then, he has notoriously just had very, very good players on his roster. Kevin Durant, a top whatever player of all time. Russell Westbrook, a top whatever player of all time. And then last year at Chris Paul, though Chris Paul is old, he's still a top blank, blank player of all time. So he's always had like a legendary player on his team. So that's why I'm saying that like if we're going by overall record of the team, that's not the best way to determine what's a good coach and what's a bad coach. Because we also seen coaches like coach a bad team as far as like record wise and go somewhere else and have a good record so you know what i'm saying when it comes to the overall record of a team it's a lot of things just like the x's and o's you also need the players so that's not the way i'm going to determine my opinion on the billy donovan hire i'm going to think about it a little differently um again at the end of the day he was my third best coach my third favorite coach out of the people we were hiring and, and i'm not mad about the signing i'm not on cloud nine either i think it's a good signing and but only time would tell right because we've seen a dual face thing of billy donovan like i remember when it was russell westbrook and kevin durant very early before kd went to to the warriors there were situations where like late game i, I have tweets out there where i'm like billy donovan what are you doing how the heck are we down by two? And I'm saying we as, in, as if I'm a fan of OKC in this situation. How are we down by two and that's the play that is drawn up? Or are we drawing up any play whatsoever? You know? And then we had this season where Chris Paul deserves a lot. And I mean a lot of the love. A lot of the love from OKC and being a team that was had like a what 0.2 percent chance of making the playoffs and not only made the playoffs got to a game seven and you know almost got to the second round Chris Paul deserves a lot of credit in that but Billy Donovan deserves some credit in that as well 
You know what I'm saying? And one thing we can we can always say about Billy Donovan's teams is that they are very good defensively, no matter the personnel. We're talking about when KD was there, after KD left, after the Russell Westbrook trade. OKC has always been, I, I mean, I don't know the official numbers. This is all rambling off the top. But I can say with pretty confident, pretty confidently, they've always been a top 10 defense in the league as long as he was the head coach. That is pretty good. It also happened when he was in Florida. That's pretty good. They've always he is a great defensive coach, the, the no matter the personnel. And another thing I've noticed is that he gets the best out of his guard play. And right now the Bulls have some pretty bright players at guard. We have Zach Levine, who averaged 25 points per game. And though the general public may not love Zach Levine, we're talking about like the analytic nerds. Zach Levine is a very quality NBA player. He's going to be elevated with Billy Donovan. The man averaged 25 points per game in, in Jim Boylan's system. I don't I can't imagine how he performs with Billy Donovan. And I'm not saying that he's about to have a 35-point-per-game season. He may still he may average less points, but it will be better for the overall team. We have a guy like Kobe White. Like, we have guards on our team that Billy Donovan is going to exceed, and that's what I'm super excited about. You know, that's what I'm super excited about. Uh, Carney Chauvis is a smart man, and right now he is not giving me a reason to doubt his decisions. So at this point, again, I'm just cool with it. I really like the idea of having Kenny Atkinson, um, I, I wish I could have been a, a fly on the wall during all these interviews and, and like talk to Carney Chauvis to figure out why Billy Donovan at the end of the day was the guy they decided to go with. Because Kenny Atkinson, when it comes to player development, man, Kenny Atkinson is the best guy available. And then Wes Unsell's great defensive strategy is one of the reasons the, the Denver Nuggets are in the place they are now. So especially when you think about Carney Chauvis just came over from the Nuggets. So it felt like Wes Unsell was like, we were going to have Wes Unsell Jr. as our coach. He's it's been working together for the couple years. So Billy Donovan overall, I don't hate it. Um, I'm super excited that like the timing of this is pretty cool. If you don't follow the Bulls, they have their own little bubble going on, like a Bulls training camp. So players had been home in California or wherever they were from and flown back to flew back to Chicago uh, for like training camp. So they're being quarantined right now. And I don't think it's any coincidence that we hire a head coach right before things go down because I mean if we're gonna have a training camp how the hell are you gonna have a training camp without somebody <laughs> somebody coaching somebody that's in in the lead of it and now we're gonna have Billy Donovan do that which is which is cool um I think things are looking up as an overall Bulls fan at this moment you know what I'm saying all of us should come together and then somebody's gonna point to me like three years down the line and be like Kenny you said it was cool if Billy Donovan turns out to be terrible um but I'm just happy that we have a coach with some experience and a decent enough track record um, to the point where, like, we don't have the worst coach in the league anymore. They could have hired me, and it would have been a, a significant upgrade to what we had. That's that's all I really got to say. I'm excited to see what the draft looks like because I'm guessing Billy Donovan is going to have his own little say about the draft and, and the idea of the the perfect lineups that they can have with them. I don't think Billy Donovan has ever coached a guy like Larry Markin as far as, like, just have – Gallinari was their Lowry market. Obviously, Gallinari is significantly better. I don't want to comment saying, oh, my God, Kenny just, just said that. But, I mean, like a stretch four type player with the ability to put it on the floor too, Gallinari was that. So, if we can get Lowry market and those Gallinari looks, hey, that's a W because Lowry's going to knock him down too. Um, I'm cool with this. And then if I had to rate this out of 10, 6.5 out of 10 signing for now with the – uh, ability to drop dramatically or get up to a 10 depending on how it is oh oh yeah yeah yeah. so people want to talk about the playoff thing I'm glad I, meant, I thought about that before I ended this video uh, Billy Donovan has just not been a very good coach in the playoffs and though playoffs should be our goal right now as Bulls fans our goal at this moment with the current regime and the current players is not championship you know what I'm saying? So Billy Donovan has been a coach that is good enough to get you to the playoffs. He just may not have executed in the playoffs. Right now, we need that coach to get us into the playoffs. This could be a Mark Jackson, Steve Kerr situation where, like, three years down the line, we may fire or, or contract may be up with Billy Donovan that we bring in the next guy to get us from a good playoff team to a, a championship-level team. But, again, I'm, I'm thinking way too ahead. So I just I just don't think that we, we start thinking about – him blowing a 3-1 lead in the conference finals to the Warriors. That's just not super relevant because we're not thinking about winning a championship at this moment. If we're talking about developing and getting to the point where we are a playoff team, Billy Donovan does help that. And at this moment, that's that's all I really care about. You know what I'm saying? One step at a time, Bulls fans, one step at a time. And who knows? Billy Donovan is still a relatively young NBA coach. Again, this is He's going into his sixth season as an NBA coach. That narrative could change. That narrative can change. 
let's say we are four years down the line. He's still a head coach, and for some reason the Bulls are in contention. I don't know why we would be. He might be able to do it. Four years down the line, more experience. I wonder what the assistant coaching is going to be like. Are we allowing him to build build his cabinet, or are we just going to go get guys that we like? I don't really know what that's going to be like, but I'm interested to see. End of the day, again, six out of ten, six and a half out of ten of a signing. Some people I would have liked a little bit better. At the end of the day, can't be mad.